Thank you.
are, sir. All right. What do they talk about? I don't know what he's talking about right now, but he'll, he'll tell you. What is it a cannon? Is he going to fire a cannon? Not today. That will be on the weekend. If you have a pass or if you have a ticket, and you'll be here on Saturday. Um, your ticket is 57 days, so you're welcome to come back. Okay. They'll have a cannon firing that day. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. I'm terrified of cannon fire. Oh, really? Yep. Up in Lake George, Fort Ticonderoga. Yes, 
now getting so overcrowded that the rooms in this building are bought by now second floors. And that was the first time this place was used for long term barracks. It was really like a fire station. I don't want to across the street and came here to work. Yes, yes. So what's the topic going to be? Uh, before it's old and made out of shells, kind of moldy. Oh, okay, thanks. I say that because it's important. So the oldest city is not St. Augustine? St. Augustine is the oldest European city in the United States. Uh-uh, the French city. French city? To the north, Jacksonville. Oh, that no, was founded a year before. Jacksonville. But it got burned down, so I guess it don't count. Jacksonville was founded by the United States. Settlement in Jacksonville, what's now Jacksonville, Fort Carolina. That's it, Fort Carolina. But uh, the Spanish did away with that settlement within a year's time of being started. St. Augustine is the oldest European settlement surviving. Surviving, but not the oldest. That you don't have to dig out of the ground. It's been thriving ever since the day it was started. Well, folks, since you're all a small group, would you like to go into a room that we normally close off to the public? Yeah. yeah. You follow me to the front of the building where the, the Spanish soldiers' barracks are. I'll open up the jail for you all and see the inside of How about that? Sounds good. All right. It's a room with dirt floors. Kind of bumpy. This way. Want to go to the jail? Jail without jail. Okay. I told you I would end up in here. That's <laughs> true, that's true. Yeah. 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 They do not play around when they say don't touch the yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you got to stand. Alrighty, folks, uh, most of you have had a chance to walk around at least a few rooms of this place, get some kind of an idea of this old building, maybe. Well, I'll start off by mentioning, I mentioned this to a couple of you already, the building was not designed to live in. If, when the Spanish built this fortress, they all lived across the street and would take turns here, the soldiers, 30 people at a time, a one to two days stay. So those bunks in the next room, which also had a line of bunks on this wall too, were designed to take a nap, to take a break. They were not designed to have a nice, full, peaceful, long night's sleep. And um, this was the only jail in this building. You'll hear other stories about a sealed off dungeon on the other side of the building, which was actually just a gunpowder storage room. And um, there is a story of this place in the late 1800s by the United States Army of the entire building turning into a prison for the fortress relocation of Native Americans. But beyond that story, this was the jail. The city, the, this was the jail for St. Augustine during the Spanish occupation. And think of it like a town jail. You misbehave, you drank too much the night before, that kind of thing. So they're going to throw you in here for a few hours, a few days. Now this exhibit panel here talks about a man who spent 42 weeks in the fort. Um, that story is a little vague. Was he 42 weeks inside this room, or 42 weeks stuck in the for itself, because mm -hmm. uh, his uh, follow not his followers per se, but the other people that were captured during the Revolutionary War sent to St. Augustine, they were under house arrest in the St. Augustine city limits. The city had a wall around it, so they basically, the British had stayed in the wall. Uh, this man uh, decided he didn't want to sign a parole, so the records say he spent 42 weeks in the fort. 
Uh, the, the story has been embellished enough that it sounds like he spent 42 weeks inside this room, but as you all walk through this, you'll probably decide that his punishment for the reasons being probably didn't warrant 42 weeks inside this one little box right here. When you go inside this room, this room dates back to the 1750s. It's not part of the fort's initial design, but still, 1750s. There's walls in the room that date back to the 1600s. The floor is not the original floor. It's extremely uneven. At one point in time, it was just a storage room full of dirt. That's why it's uneven and gross in here. So as you walk inside past this door, there's a little bit of a, a lip on the floor. Please watch your step as you walk around inside of it. And there's no ventilation in this room whatsoever. That's why it's going to smell and feel musty and gross in there. And you'll understand why we want to keep it closed off. <laughs> so with that said, if you're interested in checking this place out, come on in. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't want to spend any money on that. Right here, no windows or anything. How awful. That's the That's stuff to watch out for. Solitary. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like marriage. We usually open up this room to change the light bulb and nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, well, I wish I could I locked my entrance in here two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I never sashed you again. <laughs> what is this this is the jail. Oh, oh that's like the picture too, the thing. Oh, uh, we, we put chicken wire on the window because after a Ghost Hunter TV show talked about oh. this room, people started throwing coins in here. Oh, wow. Oh. And when we collected all the coins and tried to take them to the bank, the bank didn't accept them because they were so corroded and gross. So, oh. so they had still wow. <laughs> Well, this is not, I was telling the rest of the group before you all showed up, this is not the original floor. Oh, okay. So the original layout of this building, it's plastered walls uh -huh. and the, the frequently traveled areas, which is the barracks, uh -huh. the jail, the entryway. The places where people walk around a lot had hard floors. Okay. This room turned into some kind of storage, dirt storage at some point for somebody. But uh, to get you guys some slightly oriented to where you are in the building, uh, when you were standing in line to buy your ticket, the part of the building where the flagpole is sticking out of, the uh -huh. southeast bastion, yeah. where it meets the square structure of the fortress okay. is that angled wall right oh, there. Okay. Okay. The uh, wall you walk through and cross the drawbridge, that's the wall right there. And then on the other side of this wall is the room that says, please keep out to the right of the men's room. Mm. Okay. The reason why that room is closed off to you is that's where we keep the circuit breakers and the plum where the plumbing comes into the fort. So there you go. We have to. For the that. bathrooms and everything, yeah. But uh, the bastion, there's no way to describe the thickness of that because it's that huge corner structure filled full of dirt. But right here, to give you an idea of how thick this building is, all the, the substructure of the fortress, the central square, at the level we're all standing, on all sides, that's 11 and a half feet from oh here God. to the outside. <coughs> that's a whole lot of work. Wow. That's how you defend against cannon fire in the 1600s. Yeah. Wow. And I also, as we all walk out of here, I know People it's gross inside. Like when you look at, like look at this graffiti right here. It looks like it says 14, 28, sometimes it says 52, depending on who how the shadowing goes. I see, I see. Whenever you look at graffiti, is it original graffiti? Is it authentic? Is it fake? Does someone try to make a joke? It's really hard to say because Alex Carter carved something in 1883 in the room that some of us just left. Right. While this wall wasn't built until the 17, this was actually 1738 is when this wall right here was constructed. So if, if that is for, meant to be 1450 or 1520 or 1420 something, some tourists clearly did not understand their history because it's only in the past 30 years that we've had a door here. Right. <laughs> so, so anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this, stood in here this gross, for wet, fun. humid room. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That was neat. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, when it's during the wintertime, when we get actual textures on the 30s.
bedroom sweats, the door sweats, and stays in the double. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, so what will happen when the ghost on the show? Yeah. 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 Thank you. 